Okay, so uh, let's uh, you know start working on the controller layer. I think uh, the first place that we can start from is uh, post API users where we're gonna create a user. So uh, I'm gonna create a controller for users. First of all, uh, let's create this um, user.js. And uh, let's create a function uh, here, of course, uh, called, uh, and here I'll make it to async because, I mean, there's gonna be async stuff inside that. Create user, uh, user ops, okay? And this uh, user ops, I'm supposed to like, uh, make sure that this is, has username, email, and password. Okay, uh, so, What I'm gonna do is if uh, not user ops dot user username you not know, by username okay let's uh, do it for all three stuff. So if I did not support an email, then did not supply a password, okay? Okay, so, uh, yep. These are objects that we're creating on uh, the model, uh, model slash index yeah, users. So uh, I'm not saving the passwords here yet. So I think I should have the password. Password should be uh, of type sequelize dot string uh, and it should uh, not allow null. Okay. Uh, what we need is uh, we need to like create this user object. So I'll just uh, fetch this const uh, user equal to require dot slash dot dot slash uh, models right so i'm gonna have to create a user like const user equal to await user oh sorry users so users dot create and inside user.create, I'm going to send, uh, of course, uh, username, email, and password that we're getting. So I'm going to select user ops, and I'm going to create a user out of it. But the funny thing is I should not be saving the passwords in plain text here. So I'm going to get back to this. Uh, I'm going to write a comment here. Uh, not in plain text. I'll come back to that. I should hash the passwords, but yeah. This will create a user object uh, for me, and this gives me this user object. And uh, if uh, not user, so I'm gonna just or let me just you know try catch this stuff. Oh wait, uh, I'm just uh, go back to the original condition and yeah, do this. And if not user, then I'm gonna throw new error, error creating user or else uh, I'm gonna return this user object, okay? The user that has been just created. So uh, if I go to like uh, roots slash API slash uh, users, so uh, in the users root, if somebody sends a you know post request, API slash users. So root dot post on this path. Okay. So what I'm supposed to do is uh, make this function async. 
then uh, require that from our const this equal to require dot dot slash uh, dot slash controller slash users I'm going to require this uh, what create so to export that also model dot export equal to and I'm going to export this function create user I'm going to get this function out here create user function so I'll do await create user inside which I'll send an object inside the object I'll send uh, username would be rec dot uh, I think body dot username uh, password should be rec dot body dot uh, password and then uh, finally uh, email would be rec dot body dot so yep uh, I'm gonna call this create user function await it and I'm gonna like do is uh, created user await this and if I get that I uh, send this response rest dot send created user okay so that's I think that's it uh, let me just try this out so I'll just uh, run the server and then I'm gonna like run postman and I'm gonna try to send a post request to this particular path which is gonna be uh, okay let me just uh, you know open a new postman post request to HTTP localhost uh, 7788 I think that's the port number right and uh, make post request to slash api slash users uh, it must have a body so in the body let's put uh, you know username as uh, jake and then uh, the i don't know what uh, email as jake at Coding blocks dot com like this and the final uh, key I mean I'm not providing one it's uh oh oh it's supposed to be the password sorry so I'm gonna have the password and uh, let's say I uh, pass the password Jake one two three okay that's the password okay so uh, let's just send this request and let's see what happens uh um, yeah so let me just uh, send that request and oh just a uh, second my server is uh not running so let's uh, start the server and uh, so let me send the request and there we go so uh, a new user has been created um, so yep uh, what happens is like this uh, root is hit first so root dot post uh, we get red dot body dot username red body password red dot body email I create like this user ob object pass it into the controller controller does an await user dot create which uh, creates the user uh, return that user back uh, I get it here I send that in the response so I'm able to like create uh, users using this uh, controller now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, build all the other controllers so um, so what all stuff do I need is that uh, I need to be able to like handle all of these uh, endpoints so there's gonna be like authentication registration uh, current user update user stuff like that so i'm going to build like uh, middleware for so, uh, like uh, controllers for all of these so i will have like article controllers user controllers and uh, comment controllers so let me just uh, build the controllers uh, really quick uh, and i'm not going to build the controllers like in the video it's going to like slow down the video a bit so i'm just going to like build the controllers and uh, in the next video 
I'm gonna do a walkthrough across the controller. So I'm gonna build it quickly on my own, not in the video series itself. Next video in the series would uh, contain the core of the controllers and then we will go forward and uh, start, you know, joining things together and like run uh, unit tests on uh, this uh, API, okay? So, yep, that's it uh, for now.